Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Boy IRL. We're here at the fabulous, glamorous Ono Pops kitchen with Josh from Ono Pops. <laughs> Hello. How's it, you guys? Yep. <laughs> and um, actually, if you read this month's issue of Inside Out Hawaii magazine, Stacey Yu and Hernandez did a little article on them. And so I thought, well, I want to see how the Ono Pops are made, and I want to see what goes into our favorite Ono Pops. So you yeah, this is something you know we're really proud about uh, in the product that we make. This is. Uh, all of our ingredients are completely impeccable. The first criterion is local. Okay. And you know, we want to get everything we possibly can get local. The fruit is local. The dairy is local. The raw evaporated cane is Maui brand. Wow. Uh, the chocolate is 100% Wailua States. Everything is grown right here. And most of our pops, you can do the Eat Local Challenge and eat as many Ono Pops as you want. <laughs> now the motto is, if no can get local, gotta be organic. Okay. So for like right here, this is Star Anise Pod. Now, there might be somebody growing star anise in Hawaii that I don't know about, but up until this point, we haven't been able to find any. Hmm. So this is certified organic star anise from the Frontier brand. They made, do really, really great stuff. Uh, we do a caramel shoyu, and the shoyu we use is organic tamari. I make guava pudding and banana pudding for our banana cream pie and guava chiffon pops. The cornstarch we use in the pudding is organic. We blend our own lihing powder. Now, not everything in the lihing powder can be organic, but there's some the most important thing to say about it is no aspartame, no artificial red. We use natural red carmine, which is a byproduct of the prickly pear cactus. Wow. Everything inside is natural. You can give the you can give your kids this Li Hing and no worry about cancer. Okay? <laughs> the vanilla, the vanilla is pure Hawaiian grown vanilla. The cinnamon is grown in Waimea Town on Big Island from 20-year-old certified organic trees. Wow. We know fuck around. Yeah. Everything is the best we can possibly get to make the best popsicles for you and your cakies. Wow. And so what so. about the fruits? The fruits just come from local no, the, farmers? No, yeah, the, the fruits are 100% local and organic whenever possible. You know, Kula strawberries are beautiful strawberries, mm -hmm. but they spray. And there's oh. no other strawberries in Hawaii. So okay. there is no okay. organic strawberry, but there is a beautiful local strawberry that we use. We go through 150 pounds every two weeks. Oh break down 150 pounds of organic white Maui pineapple every two weeks. I, break, I, can, I can do that in about 90 minutes. I got really good with the cleaver. <laughs> break those pineapples down. He's part Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> um, just the important parts. Um, but, uh, yeah, the fruit, the citrus we use is almost all organic. All Big Island, lime, uh, orange. Uh, we get a whole bunch of different kinds of lemons. Lisbon lemons from Portugal, Meyer lemons from California, um, variegated pink lemons, one of my favorite new flavors. We do a pink lemon cream. Ooh. It's just like the, it's like so creamy and so tart at the same time. It's like a really great lemon cheesecake ice cream. Ooh. So look for that one at the farmer's markets. <laughs> wow, and so um, were you a chef before you got into Ono Pops? Um, yeah, yeah I did. I've done pretty much everything in restaurants you can do. Bartend, serve, manage, chef. I've, uh, my favorite was uh, being a chef for a roving supper club in San Francisco oh, called Ghetto Gourmet. Cool. I've actually tried to work with Martha Chang at Spork here a couple times, haven't connected yet, but uh -huh. we've worked on some menus together. I love that, that whole kill the restaurant movement. No walls, no host stand, no reservations. You go to somebody's house and eat some chef's great food. It's a really great way to be. No oh, need. And look for that, look for Spork here in town. I give Martha a shout out. So think, they do really great dinners. Have you guys covered them too? Uh, no, I think you have to be um, invited to that. Yes. <laughs> you don't get invited to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I've hinted to Martha many times. <laughs> so anyway, the secret society. Just saying, Martha. Not no, that they I need to her. have more. Like, Ghetto Gourmet had so many events. They need to have more events. They just got to spread the word yeah. and, and work on it ourselves here in Honolulu. It's a really great way to eat dinner. Okay, and so how did so you get So that was into, my main background for that. How and did you get into Ono Pops, of all things? It's my brother's idea. i got to give credit to Joe. Um, I don't know if we want to get Joe over here on camera. He's hiding behind He's the hiding, camera. He's hiding behind the camera. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was uh, my brother's idea, and he called me in the uh, summer of 2009, and first I said, you're freaking crazy. There's no way, <laughs> there's no way I want to move back to Honolulu and open up, you know, because I was one of the kind of kids who grabbed hmm. Kudahoe and ran away to the mainland never to come back, you know, but... <laughs> He talked me into moving home, and I was super stoked that I did. And once the more I read about the paleta craze on the mainland, and you know the the, the gourmet organic popsicles, such a perfect fit for Hawaii. And we set out to do it in the Hawaiian regional cuisine palette, which you know we both born and raised here, both right. grew up eating this food. I love Japanese, Chinese, Filipino food. Mm. I love 
the palate of Hawaiian regional cuisine, so I wanted to bring that to the gourmet popsicle. Fun. Oh, now, can I ask what year you grad? 88. Okay. Old <laughs> already. <laughs> he grad 95. He's young still yet. 1995. Hmm. <laughs> you better watch the old thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're sensitive about it. Yes, right. we are. <laughs> yeah. we, you know, we're from the 80s. We go listen to Depeche Mode later. It's yes, be we fun. do. We do. <laughs> we like the Depeche Mode. It's true. I got some CDs right over there. <laughs> got the Gross Point Blank soundtrack. You know, that's the... Uh, I love John Cusack. <laughs> talk about, talk about well, we the digress. cliche. <laughs> yes, we digress. So what's your favorite flavor? Well, like I said, my new favorite flavor is probably that pink lemon cream. One of my all-time favorites that we haven't made in a while uh, is butter mochi. Oh. Has the texture and flavor of butter mochi. It's super rich and delicious. And uh, that was probably my first, the, the first thing that I was really wow. stoked on doing because it wasn't easy to try to make a popsicle taste like butter mochi. It was tricky. Yeah, that's kind of so, different. And that was, um, that was something else. Basically, the ones that take more work are the ones I'm most proud of. Oh, okay. Like the banana cream pie one is a, a complicated banana pudding recipe that I then mount with uh, local cream cheese made in my naked cow dairy in Waianae, mm. and then put in an organic graham cracker and a local coconut streusel that I swirl inside like the crust of a pie. Wow. So that one, oh no, check it out. <laughs> uh, we just made a fresh batch of those, so those are at the market right now. Wow, I think I, I, think I bought some the other day. Actually, hold on. If you buy 10 at the, at the farmer's market, you get this cool cooler, and it goes down from $3 per pop to... to $2.50 per pop. So $5 off and free cooler. Uh, Mylar insulated cooler bag lets you get them home a half an hour or less. Of course, it gives you... you plenty of time so they don't melt. <laughs> you know, I, I went home the other day with my cooler of Ono Pops, and um, I tweeted about it, and my neighbors, who, as you know, are on Twitter, they saw it, and they're all like, ah, I need one right now. Aren't you going to share with me? And, you know, I know Derek Paiva, not to mention names, but Derek, I know you, you bought 10 once in a cooler like this, and <laughs> you didn't share with me. And I'm sorry, but sharing with your coworkers isn't the same as sharing with me. you got to be cutthroat. you got to be cutthroat. <laughs> well, that, that it looks broken, so we got to fix that and fill that up for you right away. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, so actually we're going to try some in the next segment, and um, if you guys haven't tried Ono Pops before, you can try it along with us, although it's not the same. you got to actually go find them at the market and try it yeah. yourself. But, okay, so see you in the next segment. <laughs>